So what's up guys? So I want to just do this video real quick to basically bring to light a couple of things that have I had of interest that have come up in the news. The first part of it is the issue with the Chicago Police Department being investigated uh, by the Department of Justice. Now, according to the U.S. Justice Department, uh, according to CNN, the U.S. Justice Department is investigating whether Chicago police have a habit of violating the law or the U.S. Constitution in their policing. Uh, the pattern and practice probe, as it's known, will focus on the use of force, deadly force, accountability, and how the Chicago PD tracks and treats those incidents. It w has been welcomed by uh, Chicago Mayor Ron Emanuel, and the investigation uh, um, uh, is being promised that the city's total cooperation uh, in achieving the mutual goal of keeping Chicago safe while respecting citizens' rights. Um, the city and department are under fire after a released October 2014 video of Officer Jason Van Dyke fatally shooting Laquan McDonald on a Chicago street. And it comes after reports released by the city over the weekend that indicate that the accounts from police on the scene appear to contradict what the footage shows. The video of McDonald's fatal shooting outraged many Chicagoans who took to the streets to protest what they felt was an excessive use of force and dishonesty by the city. And Van Dyke's fellow officers, who initially accused McDonald's of threatening McDonald of threatening officers. The demonstrators also questioned why it took more than 400 days to release the video, and despite the city paying McDonald's mother five uh, trillion dollars or five million dollars in April, excuse me. Um, essentially, this is just this is a big investigation that is going to definitely concern a lot of things, and definitely one of those being whether or not this man's rights were violated and what other action should be taken. Now, personally for myself, I kind of think that I, I don't know really what to think because personally my feelings would be to side with African Americans on this, particularly the McDonald family. But I don't know enough about this to really comment on it personally, so I will save that for another time that I can. But, um... What, but this is definitely something to keep in mind, as this is another one of those examples of um, police brutality, excessive force, being, you know, those things b basically being investigated, um, a city even under fire for it, and reasons for trying to uh, essentially find some sort of solution, some sort of justice that comes out of this. And... That frankly, hopefully we will see something. Now, of course, we also have to keep in mind this is, you know, bourgeois law, and it's most likely going to be investigated by bourgeois law. But it's still one of those things we should keep in mind, um, this sort of thing, and um, really hope that that there is some light at the end of the tunnel that can come out of this. Um... So yeah, the other thing that I just really wanted to quickly t touch on was a uh, was a San Antonio police officer who uh, raped a 19-year-old woman. Who apparently, um, was uh, he was uh, this man was uh, shot uh, by another uh, has been shot by a woman, and uh, office, uh, officials are suggesting that it might might have been vengeance. According to FilmingComps.com, Officer Jackie Neal of the San Antonio PD has been on paid vacation for the last year and a half for accusations of crimes that his chief referred to as unthinkable. After evidence linked him to this vile crime, he's still been receiving his over-deserved salary of $62,500. Neil is 40 years old and was in full uniform in a marked squad car and on duty when he made a tra uh, traffic stop on a Friday morning in November of 2013. He then proceeded to sexually assault a 19-year-old woman, according to the San Antonio Police Department. Now again, this is something that's actually been released by the police, so this isn't just something that is entirely something that is coming from the word of mouth from the victim or from the media. This has actually been reported by San Antonio Police. 
He forced the young woman to bend over with her face in the rear seat of the police car. He pulled her pants and underwear down to her ankles and sexually assaulted her, according to the complaint. At that point, Neil admonished her that if she told anyone, he would know where to find her, and he drove off, leaving her standing there. The shooting happened at Neil's home in the 9100 block of Arroyo Hondo in Jolotes, Texas. Police were called to the scene shortly after 7 p.m. Uh, on uh, on Thursday and found Neil with a bolt wound in his neck. In January of last year, the woman claiming to be raped by Neil filed a $10 million lawsuit in the U.S. District Court in San Antonio, and she named Neil Police Chief William McManus, uh, McManus excuse me, and the city as defendants. According to the complaint, Neil had been suspended for three days in September, stemming from a morally reprehensible and inappropriate relationship with a female high school student enrolled in the Police and Explorer program. So, again, this is a man that seems to have a history of some sort of sexual violence, some sort of ma you know, male, you know, like some sort of, of sense of male entitlement. And so, a, a, a history of basically sexually inappropriate or at least inappropriate behavior towards women. So, this is one of those things that is being investigated, that is being looked at, and <laughs> the fact that his man was shot and potentially in vengeance um, is quite entertaining and quite interesting. Uh, considering that this woman may have actually been one of his victims. And it's also one of those things we really should kind of consider the fact that this man is 40 years old and had a relation, was trying to have a relationship with a high school student, a person that, you know, a minor. So that, that really doesn't play well in his favor when he's trying to essentially fight you know, the charges that are against him when he basically, you know, basically could be up for uh, child molestation. It, it quite frankly, sound, make, making it, definitely making it sound more and more like he is a predator. And yet this man is a man that was entrusted by his community to uphold the law and to, you know, make people feel safe. And this man... And essentially, the, this scandal that has rocked the uh, SAPD definitely um, brings into question the trust and the, the the safety that the people feel towards their their police their police officers towards their police department. So these are just important things. Some interesting, important things that I wanted to bring to your guys' attention. I will be posting the CNN article and the filming cops article on my on in the description. Feel free to comment, feel free to read those articles. And that's it for now. I'm Norcal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been Norcal Corner. Later.